Hello everyone and welcome to another console review with me, John Parker and me, Jack Erling, and me, Cody Kronotis. Hello folks and welcome back to another console review and today we are reviewing the Hands of Omega Comic Baker. Uh, a completely different one that I have never ever seen before. So I'm quite looking forward to this. Of course we've got the exterior, uh, rest in front of us. Um, I have to say, this reminds me a heck of a lot like the um, Schalke exterior. Mm. If you think back to when we reviewed that, obviously it was a lot smaller. There was a bit more, obviously, a bit more uh, detail to that exterior. But I, I, I don't know the, the the yellow windows and the you know the cartoon style because the Schalke episode was a cartoon. It just makes me you know it reminds me of that. But I think it's a very nice looking, quirky, uh, funky exterior, I do say. Mm. It's, uh, well, I, one thing I do love about comic builds is that uh, it's the cell shading. Mm. The, idea, the idea of having, basically, they take the first mesh, they build the mesh using basic colours, and then they duplicate the mesh, ever so slightly making it bigger, I think this is how they do it, and then they make the outer mesh have reversed normals to normals mm. so that that way the inside of the mesh is visible but not the outside then they make the inside of the darker color but there's one mistake with this exterior that I've noticed what's that and it probably wasn't intentional obviously but if you look right inside they've actually put a texture on these uh, cell shading faces and it's a basically a grid a color grid texture looks really like, like a rainbow with lots of numbers and squares on it where you seeing that? Zoom right into the top part where it says "Please public call box." Go inside it, and you'll see what I mean. Oh wow, that's uh... they set a texture on it when it should be blank, a blank color. That looks like should be in Tron. Mm. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like some sort of digital matrix, you know, mm. which uh, kind of fits the TARDIS profile a little bit. So. It does, <laughs> but unfortunately it does mean if you look at the corners of the edges outside, you can see little bits of text and colour swatches and stuff. Yeah, but other than, other than that, other than that, this is a fantastic build. I love the comic ones. These are from the Cabots, anybody wondering. Uh, which, as everyone knows, the Cabots build those really, really, really high detailed, realistic meshes. I mean, you saw the War Doctor from HOO. The only difference, of course, being with the comic ones is that they have to go the exact opposite route, non-realistic, and as far away from realistic as you can, really, um, to make this comic drawn look. And it looks quite cool. On certain camera it angles, it looks a bit weird, but... Well, actually, you know when you move around, obviously the, the, the black outline, obviously, is a cartoon, it you know disappears. I, li I like that. Yes, and that's all because of the fact that, of course, as you change camera angle, you're looking at different normals on the uh, yeah, outside yeah. mesh. Obviously. So I think that's kind of a, a, a nice, a, an unintentional effect, I believe. Mm. So, yeah, no, that is good. But, of course, I mean, it is basic. It's a cartoon, so, you know, you can't... But it's really... intended to be, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Intended... Uh, which I have absolutely no problem with. So, mm. yeah. Because the cabbits do prefer really high detailed realistic mesh, but obviously for this particular purpose they can't, they couldn't do that. Yeah, no, it's good. It is good. Um, I think so. Anything you guys want to add to that before we go in and see the the big thing? It looks like a box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's a blue box. It's a blue box. Well, yeah, so I mean technically. A blue, yellow, and white box. It's going to be technical. Right, in we go then. Mm hmm. Oh dear. Ooh. After you, good sir? Indeed. Funnily enough, we can mention one of the first features just from going in the door. Oh wow. You will notice there are two sets of doors. There is. Which one's the main doors and which ones they just make it look like doors? I think you'll find they both open at exactly the same time. Oh. Cool. I'll tell you what, one way to find out. Close the doors. Just clicking on them work. Yep, 
Ah, so you click on those ones, it works. And I guess while you're in the control room, you use this. Yes. Yep, they both open and close. That is really good. I like that. That is really Wait, good. So you, you touch on the, the inside ones. No, you oh, touch on the police box doors to use. Yeah. Without, up. To, to do it without using the control, and then you use the control to do that. Cool. So that's a nice feature. Straight I said away. inside, I meant inside of the door, I think, yeah. So what always interests me, the first thing I notice, is that with these comic um, textures, I, I'm not quite understanding as to why there's lines at the bottom where the corners meet, and particularly on the mat here, where, well, I'll say the mat, a little dark square, <laughs> rectangle, uh, <laughs> hexagon shape. Like, um... what, what does the lines mean? Is it just how you draw it? I... Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I, don't, I honestly I don't quite know. Measurements or something. Oh, they, they look like they've just been hand-drawn. Well, they would have been, of course. Yeah, but... but I don't know, I, I, I do see what you mean. Um, a little bit confusing, I don't but quite understand. There's probably a reason for it. I, I'm not quite sure. Maybe that's how they draw them in comic. But. I mean, if you look underneath, they do kind of continue. Yeah, they've got a transparent floor, so they, they've got this like underneath that carries on the reflection. No, I'm not entirely sure as to why that is, to be honest. I'm not sure if it was actually meant to be there or it's a mistake or... I mean, it looks well, a bit weird. Oh, it won't be a mistake. Why they would do it by mistake. Yeah. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a mistake. They wouldn't do it. It would be clearly obvious to them if it was a mistake. But I don't know. But anyway, I do like it. I love this idea. I've, I, one of the things I actually want to um, learn more to do is cell shading, and it's. I just think it looks cool. Everything you rotate your camera around, and everything just looks all I drawn think, out. And... Yeah, I was just gonna say. I think what they really need to be. Um, many for here is the, the actual outline so that that extra detail of actually making it look like it's an actual proper cartoon or well from a proper cartoon mm -hmm. rather than just having um, basic set colors mm. you know they've actually um, I suppose in a way it creates some depth to what they've designed actually, so it, it makes it stand out a bit more insane? am I right in saying um <laughs> Probably. Oh! Oh. Mm -hmm. What did you just do? Please share with us your info. Do share they've, with the class. Um, I see what they've done. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, this has got one of them. Uh, so, some, some of the textures, particularly the one at the top here, that overhead light, you know that colour grid texture that we saw on the exterior? Yeah. They're using that to pick out the colours and then they're stretching the texture across the whole thing. So what you get is, because on the colour grid there's different shades of grey and they all go in a line, so the, the overhead light there is using those two shades so that as the angle angle changes, you know, as it goes, um, it gives us a darker grey on the bottom one, makes it look more, a little bit, tiny bit more realistic, like, like you would shade it in on a cartoon. On a comic book, so they they just simulated shadows. Yes, using the color grid. But on certain things like the roundels on the doors, which of course need those extra lines um, to create that like three D ish kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, that's a complete separate texture. That's a, a proper pro proper proper texture. And let me just double check that texture one more time. Do you know what blows my fucking mind? What's that? Well, I apologise for that uh, that word. <laughs> Jordan points out that these roundels are a texture. Has just blown my mind. I'm yeah, these roundels. I'm thinking, what? That's not three D. Comes into it. What? <laughs> yeah, and also uh, I've just noticed that that texture on the doorway is not um, mapped. It's not UV mapped. In fact, I don't think anything here is UV mapped. Although I could be wrong. Let me just double check. Hold on. Uh, no, the whole thing is not 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 baked. It is not a baked console. That that roundel statement 
That's that's not going to go away. That amazes me that these drowned wolves look 3D. Mm -hmm. Although we've got some Zed fighting here. No, John. No, no. Sit down, John. Sit down, John. John, sit down. John, sit down. Sit down, John. Sit down, John. Sit down, John. Sit down, John. John, John. No, John. Sit down, John. No, John. Sit down, John. John, John, John. Yeah. What? What a bit of a glitch. What face? What face? Uh, sorry, he's, that's he's on a above here. Top, a thing on top left door. You know, somewhere no one else would look apart from John. I was looking. I was coming around the doors. It was like. <sighs> I actually, seriously, cannot get that. I'm going around the doors, in the doors. No, it's stopped. Door. It's stopped for me now. I don't know why. If the left door looks smaller than the right one because the cell shading's ever so slightly off with this. They've got an extra grey outline around the right one. No, you've just got to be be careful how you angle your camera. See, now if I angle mine to just kind of get both uh, grey outlines on both doors, they are now they are they are level. They I'm are coming all the way level. around it. They are it trust trust me. They are level. Trust me on this. They are level. Mm. It's just the way it looks. But anyway, so I can see where the outline goes to the top on on the um, on the right side of the first door. On the right from side. From a, from of a the distance, door. the one on the right has more grey on the outside. I think it's just um, camera angle. Well, anyway. However, however, you have probably got a point there because that one just seems to be quite prominent. If you do look at the right door, the, the sh sh cell shading is more obvious. Yeah. <clears throat> so at a glance, it will look like you've got one door that's a couple of inches above the other. So despite mm. the actual door panel itself being the same and the roundels lining up, because of the cell shading, it makes it look like it's just a little bit higher. You know what? I really, really <coughs> want to know what the, the deal is with these lines. Because if you look at the light above us, mm. I really, really want to know what the big deal is with the light. With I the, think the lines. it's to simulate shadow. Yeah, but what shadow? Shadow of what exactly? Well, in, if this was a realistic build, so you know, not cartoon, uh, yeah. you would have uh, an ambient occlusion mark all the way along the bottom here, and when this light, this massive overhead light, hits this console at that angle, you would get shading uh, on the bottom here where the lines are on the console and also on the slight side here. So I think they're trying to simulate in a cartoon style that there's meant to be shadows there. And so the, the way they've chosen there is the um, way, you know, you just draw lines to indicate, you know, but that's like shadows creeping across the... If that was the case, the lines would be um, at an equal distance, or at least be... Not necessarily, because it could be the. Because remember, that's a circle, so perhaps the smaller lines on the outside, the longer lines in the middle, and then depending What's on where the light's supposed to hit, it's it's an overhead circle light. Yeah, but if the light, cause, well, the light can only hit down, so therefore it would. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah but the shadow, so would, like the a... shadow, the shadow jack would be the same as the, the the actual object. I mean, if you look at the one on the bottom on the floor here. You're not, there's tiny white lines coming from the one side, the smaller what side, the... and then long lines coming from the middle, because obviously that's where the hexagon shape comes from. Hmm. I think that's just how the cabinets just designed the, 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 the way they do, want to I'm represent not, the shading. I'm not saying it's bad in any, in any way whatsoever. I'm just curious to um, why they're there. I'm interested, that's all. So, mm. no, no. There is it's a fine. door here. Yep. Yes, there is a door. Oh, a door with an extra... Hello. Sadly, this is all there is. I did just look. I ah. thought, oh, interesting. I like it. It's reminiscent of another console we have yet to review. Oh. Um, I'm sure we put it in flight. Can do, yep. We'll see how it rolls. Right. Right, right. Righty, right, right, right. So we push this button, right? Oi. That's cool. It's like clouds, rolling clouds. Cartoon oh, clouds. All in. Vortex, which is used in another console. So naturally, it is more or less like a 
an actual uh, classic console. Basically, in essence, that is the point of it. It is designed to be a comic version of uh, the Fourth Doctor's control room, Hold which on. it represents quite nicely. It does. I totally That's agree. interesting. The rotor's glass is cell shaded on the inside to have those black lines. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really kind of cool. It's like it's, it's a bit weird, but I know. But yeah. Yeah. It is interesting. Because like because obviously the, with the cartoon method of doing shading, you can't have varying levels of shadow. Well, you can, but not. Uh, yeah, you have to make it look more prominent, like it's been, um, like the, the, like the, the distance between the shad the shades, is a lot more um, um, further apart. So obviously, if you want to represent a light shadow, you can't just ever so slightly shade in a slightly lighter grey. You have to do like a thicker grey, which is what they've done here. On the rotor, which explains why, like the one on the top here as well, is a bit more prominently dark. What? Sorry, I turned the cloister bell on. I was expecting it to maybe <laughs> have a custom sound, apparently not. I again was expecting it to probably go red, or at least do something special, being as it's a cartoon. But, mm. uh, yeah. Then again, it is representing the, com the, the Baker console, so. I suppose, but I mean, it being a um, cartoon, that could have had a bit of a twing to it, but, yeah, never mind. So, um, other than what we've discussed, is there, um, are the controls mainly the same on this compared to other consoles? Pretty much exactly the same stuff, yeah. But, I mean, talking about controls, I mean, they are gorgeous. Mm. They are gorgeous looking controls. I love the sharp, the, the real sharp colours. Just, you yeah. know, um, being lit up. Oh, it's amazing, I, I do love it. Yeah. Part of me is wondering, would they uh, would they draw a glow in a comic book? Uh, they can do. I was gonna say, yeah, I suppose they could like lightly shade the the yellow to bleed out, couldn't they? Well, if you're talking on the lights uh, in today's terms, yes, because obviously Photoshop, Illustrator, and whatnot, they can do all sorts of funky stuff. Funky, so, funky, funky stuff. So, other than what we've discussed, is there anything else that we can touch on with this console? Um, we could try landing it, see where. Uh, well, we do you wanna do you wanna land us back, and then we can exit and give our verdicts? Uh, yes, I've actually got one extra thing to add. Oh, I do like the uh, When we were looking at the Hartnell, yeah, I said that I thought. The Hurt console, the Hartnell console, and the Hellbent mm -hmm. were the only ones with the uh, radiation thing. Meet yeah, the meter. This console has it as well. Does it? Why? Yes. Roentogen. On the panel here, I believe oh. it does exactly the same thing. What does Roentogen mean? I believe it's a brand name. Oh, or it's okay. a non-English way of saying radiation. Hmm. Well, there we go. <clears throat> what was I going to say? Useful input. I, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, I like the control sounds as well. When you click the controls, like a bleep, bleep. It's that kind of weird sound that it makes. But I do really like the way that the Cabots have used the colour table texture on a lot of the stuff and then they've stretched it at that certain offset that's, that must have took a while to do to find the right offsets for them more than likely right sh oh we are landing I was going to say shall we land hold on a second wait the, the horizontal and vertical scales what are on the controls that are using the um Colour table. The only thing that's different is the repeats per meter. I think it might be baked, and then they've just put the texture directly on. Which, of course, because of the way it was baked using the UV coordinates, it selects that particular colour. That's really clever. 
That's very clever indeed. I like that. Well done, Cabot. Right, carry on. Alright, let us go outwards. Indeed. At the right doorway? Yeah, it is. I'll go open the door first. I, I was wondering what the doorway was. <laughs> So, verdicts guys. John, out of 10, what would you give this exterior? The exterior, I like it. Um, apart from the slight mistake with the cell training, but whatever. Uh, I like it. I, I even though it's basic, I, for the for its purpose, you know, it suits. It's fine. And so, out of 10, I will give it... Um, uh, a 9. A 9? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the interior, the interior loved it. A uh, little bit, tiny bit weird with the shading lines, but um, and the slight say with the door, you know, whatever. Um, overall, loved it to bits. So I'm going to give it a uh, very high nine point five. Okay, okay. And Cody, for the exterior, what would you give? It isn't my personal cup of tea. Mm -hmm. However. It serves, it represents what it is intending to represent. Yeah. So, for its very accurate representation of what it is supposed to represent, I'll give it a seven. A seven? Okay. And for the interior? Um, again, I refer back to my point of not personally my cup of tea, but, again, it represents what it's supposed to represent. And frankly, given the the small amount of choice you're given between comic consoles in Second Life... That's true. I think I prefer the feel of this one. No, I'll give it... Eight. Point five. 8.5. 8.5? Okay. For me, uh, this is something completely new and uh, unique. Um... I think, of course, actually, think about your point then, um, Cody, with the actual f uh, feel and look of it. If we, I mean, if you and I, John, think back to the Shalka, mm -hmm. now, of course, that was given a more kind of a, a realistic uh, game effect, because mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the screen of the Shalka was a cartoon. Um, so it, it, they, I don't think NLS really kind of implemented that kind of feature. Mm. Yet with this, however, they've taken something completely, uh, completely from book, because that's what because uh, going books, mm -hmm. and they've literally just sat down and whacked something impressive up. So honestly, I think overall the the, the system is very impressive. Impressive. So for me, for the exterior, I'm going to give a 9. And on that note, because uh, both of them together, um, for the interior, yeah, I'm going to give a 9 as well. So two double 9s, two 9s, all together. Okay? Okay. So, folks, that is the end of our review of the Comic Baker. We do hope you enjoyed, and we will see you again in our next review video. So until then, see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. I'll make sure you rate it as well. Goodbye. Thank you, folks, for watching. If you enjoyed, do please leave a like or comment below on this video. If you want more, on Jack's side is the last video and the recommended video that we've suggested to you. To stay tuned for more, on John's right is the link to our channel so you can subscribe. And also we have a link to our website if you want more information about who we are and what we do. Until next time, take care, stay safe. And remember, let your guitar out. Bye bye guys.